Meat bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another modded weapon guide here on Borderlands 2. Today I am back with a uh, new weapon that I'm going to be testing. I say new, it was new at the time when I first started this. Um, I've just come back after a two, uh, two and a half nearly week uh, holiday, like a break, uh, and uh, I've actually, this was pretty new at the time, now it's nearly a month old, so I do apologise for that, but uh, yeah, it's uh, they all need to be covered anyway. Uh, so I started testing this before my uh, break, and I actually managed to get this uh, kills report recorded and things like that. Um, so I'll do my best to remember exactly what uh, went on here, but uh, yeah, today we're going to be testing off, uh, testing the Nuka, um, which was made by Reclaimer Sean over on the Borderlands 2 Community GitHub. I believe this is the first weapon uh, that uh, he actually came out with that I've decided to test. I've had a look back on his section as well since uh, coming back from a break, and there's quite a few more out there as well, so uh, we should be doing some more from Reclaimer Sean soon. Uh, but this one is a brilliant one to start with. Uh, it's absolutely insane, this uh, launcher. Very, very overpowered in a way, but also it's just got a completely unique feel and uh, firing pattern to it. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing a uh, review on that soon. But as always, we're going to start off by showing you guys exactly where to get this weapon. So as always, you can click on the link in the description, which will take you straight there. Or you can head over to the Borderlands 2 Community GitHub and navigate your way there yourself by clicking on Borderlands 2 Mods and then hitting Reclaimer Sean's section, which is just here in alphabetical order under R. And uh, there you go. As you can see, there's quite a few in there. The oldest one uh, is the Nuka. Um, so we're going to be reviewing that first. But uh, this will bring up the weapons information page when you click on it. A couple of give codes and things like that in there for you. Uh, click on the raw tab, right click, save as, save into your Borderlands 2 binaries folder and then activate it using the console commands in the game and that will turn your weapons into the nuka. The weapons you need for this are the um, North Fleets. They will change the North Fleets into the nukas uh, and as you can see as well I'm also going to be running the uh, legendary Javanalia um, class mod as well that was made by Left Strafe to uh, give me some ammo regen for these rocket launchers because they're very very ammo heavy. So this is what the weapon looks like when you bring it up in the overview. Not a lot of change, but a nice sort of skin on it. It's purple rarity, and it says better than North Korea's missile defense system, which is pretty uh, accurate, actually. Well, not that swatted up on uh, North Korea's missile defense system, but this thing is uh, pretty damn insane. Basically, you can just fire it uh, anywhere, really, and if there's enemies active, it will actually seek them out. And there you go. You can see they just went in there. They picked up enemies over there, and it just dove down. Uh, and decided to slay them, uh, which is pretty cool really. It means that you can shoot things around corners, you can shoot things in the air. Basically, all it's got to do is uh, find something and it will home in on them. So we've seen a couple of homing weapons um, from uh, a couple of different modders really. Well, one of my favorites definitely the Swarm, made by Oze. Um, but you can see this one is uh, pretty unique in its own sense. It can bounce off objects. Uh, it can bounce off anything really, but it will just seek out enemies and kill them. And it's not just one enemy, it will go after multiple enemies. Basically, it will just use its bullets to uh, hit an enemy until it's dead. And whatever's left after it, you can see it will just home in on something else. And it will just keep on going and going uh, until it's out of projectiles, basically. So sometimes you'll get one enemy and will get the full force of every projectile uh, if they're a bit tougher than everyone else. And then sometimes it will just uh, just go after a couple of different easy trash mods, um, things like that. Sorry, trash mobs, should I say. Be very careful. This thing can, there you go, <laughs> just right on time. Uh, this thing can put you down, uh, but with the sheer amount of projectiles that it shoots out, if there's enemies near you, it will revive you pretty easily as well. Be careful not to shoot an enemy too close to you as well, like these exploders. If you turn around and there's an exploder there, probably try and run away a little bit, fire it in front of you maybe, and it'll come back and probably try and kill it. Because, uh, like I said, it will put you down pretty easily. There is self-damage on this gun. Uh, but all in all, this thing is absolutely amazing. I love unique guns. There's a lot of people that will probably sit here and say, they're overpowered, blah, blah, blah. It's just fun. You know, we're not just here to play the game seriously anymore. It's game came, came out in 2012, you know, that's five years ago. Um, and the fact that we're still playing this game now, or the fact that I am anyway, is not just because I can do serious playthroughs, things like that, uh, weapon guides, stuff like that. It's just to have a bit of fun. And some of these weapons uh, that are coming out are 
uh, Challenger, they're, they're, they are fun in a way, things like the All or Nothing are fun to try and get there um, without putting yourself down or killing yourself, but sometimes it's just good as well to run around with a weapon with homing bullets that just destroys everything near you, uh, so yeah. This does come in all elements as well. Obviously, it is a variation of the North Fleet. There's no elemental lock to anything. I'm using the corrosive one here just to slay some loaders, but I have got all four in my inventory as well, so you can get it in slag, shock, and fire as well. So you could take it to pretty much anyone in the game and have some good fun with it, or even different multiple areas with uh, multiple enemies, things like Heroes Pass, where you've got the, uh, the loaders, but you've also got the uh, Hyperion uh, guys as well to shoot, things like that. Give it a try and let me know what you think of it. I really like this and uh, yeah, for now, that is it. It's good to be back doing these modded weapon guides. I had a damn good break and uh, there's plenty released on GitHub uh, coming up. So we'll definitely be doing some more soon. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Really hope you enjoyed. That was the Nuka made by Reclaimer Sean. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments below if you give it a try out. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one.